Hi, I'm Nick Paulson. You're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio by the Wheels 24 team. Well, today it's just Sergio Davids, the content producer. He's going to talk us through a couple of topical stories on their site. Sergio, thanks for coming in. How's it, man? Um, this just come in. Um, very interesting, and I'm sure a lot of viewers will have a strong opinion about this. Taxis, uh, notorious for causing carnage and Indeed. on the roads and disobeying speed limits. New SA road rules, speed limits for taxis, point systems, and there's also... Um, mention of compulsory car seats for children That's under correct. the age of three across the board. Talk us through the story. Sure. Um, amended regulations to the National Road Traffic Act have now put through about four different regulations. One, the most important of which is speed limiters, which are now supposed to be mandatory in taxis, buses and trucks mm. as of December 2016. Um, there are governments hoping that they limit the speed limit, if I just read the tra act out here, 80 kilometers for trucks and 100 k's an hour for taxis and buses. Mm. Um, look, that's huge. I mean, they haven't stipulated logistics around it. They haven't mm. talked about who's going to pay for this, how they are they going to be fitted, which devices. But in terms of road safety, I mean, it's huge for South Africa. Whether or not we'll see taxi drivers actually obey the law, mm. um, that remains to be seen. But that's quite hectic in terms of road safety. The other regulation involves mandatory child seats for children younger than three years old, mm. which I thought was law. But according to the NRA, um, if I just read over here, it says that they had not made a provision for this, mm. which is scary. Yeah. So as of April 2015, we should see this coming into effect and parents who don't strap their kids into appropriate child seats will probably be fined. Mm. Um, just so two points there. Um, I mean, I, I've personally seen it often kids jumping around in between the passenger and the, and, and the driver's seat. Um, it happens all over. Indeed. Um, and then the same with, with, with the taxis disobeying rules. Um, it, it happens on such a, a re regular basis. How is it going to, how are the, tra how are the tra traffic officials going to monitor this? How are they going to systemize this? And just with the the hundred kilometer speed limit mm. i mean obviously i'm assuming that's not on city roads because i mean we all know the speed limit's 60 so indeed um, look just just on your first point i mean that's always been a problem with south africa sure we can come up with loads of regulations sure we can pass hundreds of laws but actually enforcing them is our problem and i think that's where our police forces let us down mm. so sure um this is quite hectic to hear that there'll apparently be speed limits for trucks and, and taxi drivers but are they actually going to be effective that remains mm. to be seen as far as children standing up instead of actually being strapped in at the back or um, in appropriate child seats i mean you see this all the time um in the actual story they've got horrifying statistics of what can happen in a crash mm. And sadly, um, well, you've got a 75% chance of a child younger than age of three, if not strapped in a child seat of dying. And that's, I mean, it's incredible. And I'm sure that parents out there know this, <coughs> but I, I challenge others on the road to actually try and stop an offending parent from doing this. Mm -hmm. You might be on the receiving end of some insults.